after being shut down for a little bit, the Tesla factories are up and running and production and delivery for the Tesla Model Y is back on track. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about the Tesla Model Y. Woo, we got a nice blue one back there. So far it's good, but we're gonna show you some of the stuff that we like and that we maybe don't like so much about it. To start off this video, we are going to be looking at everything on the outside and inside and then we're gonna drive it around for a little bit and see what it's like. Right off the bat, just looking at the car, it's obviously a lot bigger than the Model 3. The Model Y shares about 70% of the same parts as the Model 3, but is obviously a lot bigger. It is over seven inches taller than the Model 3, has one more inch of total ground clearance than the Model 3. The car overall is longer than the Model 3 and also about three inches wider than the Model 3, so it's, it's bigger a lot bigger. Roomier inside. It feels roomier inside. You can you can feel it when you're driving too. Like it's a bigger car than the Model 3. So to get to the trunk, it is automatic, which is nice. The Model 3 didn't have that. The Model X has that. So it is more like the Model X in this way. This back trunk is already pretty big. So the Model 3 had this, but it is a lot more storage. You got some storage here on the sides. You got a big compartment here as well as more storage right there so overall the model y has a ton more storage than the model 3 which is huge another feature that the model y has that the model 3 did not is right here on the driver's side in the back you have these switches that will automatically drop the seats oh but we have a car seat there <laughs> that's why that one didn't drop so that makes it a, a lot easier to drop the seats unfortunately it would be cool but they don't it would be cool if those switches also brought the seats back up but you got to bring them up yourself it's also nice because i mean if you were on a road trip and just wanted to pull over and sleep for a second drop those seats you want to take the camera like you could just take a nap in there, pull over to the side of the road and sleep. And maybe we'll have to do that Tesla camping. It also has the push button that will close the trunk for you. So that's nice. Especially when you have a baby in your arms or groceries or something, just push yes. that button. It's super nice. Like all Teslas, because there's no actual engine, you have the front trunk, which is looks about the same as the Model 3 as far as space goes. Comes with this little tool in here that you can pop out. And that is for when you're off-roading and get stuck. You can pop this out throw it in there and you can tie a like a toe strap to it so that you can get pulled out of the mud if you go off-roading and get stuck the model Y is like the model 3 where you use an actual card to lock and unlock the car that's obviously the second option the first option is just syncing it to your phone and that way you can just have your phone in your pocket and when you get close and get too far away it'll lock and unlock and all that fancy stuff as far as any flaws on the car that we've noticed there's people that always complain about flaws in the paint job the only thing that we've noticed is this back Back rear door on the driver's side is really hard to close. This one you have to be a little bit more aggressive with it feels like and you kind of gotta slam it so that it closes properly like it didn't even close good right there. That's kind of weird the the door must be a little bit off-centered or something so you got to be a little bit more aggressive. One other tiny flaw we noticed is that this side paneling here on the driver's side sticks out a little bit. On the passenger side it doesn't but if we go to the outside you'll see. So you can see it sticking out right there and not over there. On the inside the most obvious thing is this huge, it's gonna be way hard to see because it's dark, but the whole panoramic roof here. It goes all the way back with no supports, just one solid piece of glass and it goes all the way back. Yeah, the Model 3 had a beam in the middle, so this one's just completely open. Also, when you're sitting in the Model Y, you are a lot higher off of the ground. And how they did that, honestly, they just took Model 3 seats and they put them on just like this little razor. It's just like a booster pretty much to make the seat sit higher up. So you have all this space under the seat. We also started looking for phone chargers. Um, the Model 3 had a spot up on the dash where you could just kind of plug your phone in and in this one we were looking for it and we're like oh my gosh they don't have spots to charge your phone but turns out it is wireless, wireless charging which is super Watch nice this. as far as like storage goes by the seats here it's pretty much the same as the model 3 you got lots of storage it looks exactly the same honestly as far as like the display the steering wheel the front dash the air vents it's like a model 3 exactly like it even here in the back seats there's a lot of space back here you got tons of headroom tons of leg room and the nice thing too is that even these back seats recline a little bit it's not much but 
you can see kind of the difference there. They recline, so if you're going on long road trips, you can just lean them back a little bit, relax, so that's nice. One other really cool thing that's fairly new with the Teslas is you can go here in the entertainment section that they have, and you're able to play all their games that they have. They have a bunch of different options there, but they also have a theater option where you can stream Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, and Twitch, all that stuff. Obviously for these two, you need an account to do those, but YouTube, you can just watch a bunch of videos and... One of our more popular videos that we made about the Tesla Model 3 is about grandmas reacting to the Tesla Model 3. It has 142,000 views. Thank you for watching that. If you think we should do another grandma reaction video to the Tesla Model Y, let us know down in the comments if that's something you want to see. So now we just need to drive this thing on the road, see what it's like, see, see what updates they've done as far as like autopilot goes and stuff like that. Okay, we're switching over to the GoPro, but we're gonna just go grab some lunch. She hates it, but we have to do the acceleration test. What? So, acceleration is great. I mean, you can, <laughs> pushes you back in your seat, you feel it like those butterflies in your stomach feel and stuff. sick a little bit. Feel sick a little bit if you're hurt. I wonder what E did. The zero to 60 acceleration is slower than the Model 3 because it, it's bigger. Some things that I'm noticing and that is actually noticeably different than the Model 3, the side mirrors I feel like are a lot smaller. I mean, I see enough, but I feel like they should be a little bit bigger. And then my rear view mirror here, I feel like it's limited what I can see. Like I see a lot of the trunk and not a lot of the actual glass back there. I just feel like the view is limited back there. Now I'm going to enable autopilot and see what auto steer temporarily unavailable. There we go, so it's in autopilot. I'm gonna see what happens when we roll up to the next stop sign. So there is a stop sign up here. You can see the sign right there. So it stopped, it stopped. There's a red line there and it completely stopped. Not only does it notice that there's a car in front of me, but it sees the traffic lights all the way up there and it sees that they're red. So I wanna see what happens when they turn green if it notices that. So right when they turned green, it turned green on the car too. That is crazy. So right now I am hands-free. It's in autopilot on the highway going 55 miles per hour and Really what I'm noticing is that the autopilot is pretty much the same as it always was. Really, like all the sensors and cameras around the car are just a lot smarter with all the updates that have happened. They see a lot more of the cones that are in like construction areas. It sees the arrows on the ground. Like if I'm in a turning lane, it will say that I'm in the turning lane because it sees those arrows that are on the ground. It obviously sees the stop signs, the stop lights, all of that cool stuff. This car, this car is a blast to drive. I believe with all Teslas, like driving them, it's just, it's completely different than like a gas car. And the Model Y is no different. It's a solid car, much better car, I would say, than the Model 3, just because of the fact that it is bigger. The range isn't that much different. The range on this is 310 miles. That's great. Um, I don't care too much about the zero to 60 speed, so losing a little bit of speed there, like, not a big deal. So overall, I like the Model Y much better. Me too. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and hit that big red subscribe button. See ya. See ya.